in the previous video from the dispersion chapter we have discussed what is standard deviation and how to calculate the standard deviation as we already discussed that standard deviation is the idle measure of the dispersion uh, idle measurement of the dispersion because it it have some characteristics so this is the major use to calculate the dispersion in today's video we will discuss how to calculate standard deviation in a case of individual series with the direct method as well as in the assume mean method h in the direct method we have already discussed that we have to use this formula that is sigma d square divided by n for the direct method because in uh, in a case of individual series the frequency doesn't lie so we will use this formula sigma d square divided by n for calculating d we have to cut do x minus x bar then square of this then addition of this so this is the direct method for calculating the standard deviation so the very first we will calculate arithmetic mean then we will take the deviation from arithmetic mean then square of the deviation and then adding all the squares of the deviation getting the arithmetic mean of this and lastly we will get the standard deviation is under root it means we are we will get the square root of this uh, arth, uh, arth, arithmetic mean of the square of the deviation we will get the standard deviation as far as the assume mean is concerned assume mean the formula will be used sigma sigma d square x upon n minus sigma dx upon n raised to power 2 for that calculating the arithmetic mean it may be having easy where we are getting arithmetic mean in points so this formula may be used this formula is direct method and this formula is indirect uh, assume mean method already we have discussed in the previous video so here the dx is with x minus assume mean whatever we will assume we will use the result will be same from both of the method we are having four or five other method also for calculating standard deviation but i am using only these two formula because if we uh, we will discuss so many formulas it will be creating the confusion in among the students so that's why we are not using one formula is enough but you feel any problem or in your examination the calculator is not allowed then we are having an alternative formula where we doesn't require the calculator but in this formula uh, we uh, re require the calculator so it is dependent on your examinations pattern if uh, calculator is allowed the first method is sufficient to calculate the standard deviation so today we are having a math a questions of the individual series and we will discuss for that okay so we i am taking a question from the individual individual series case and we will calculate the standard deviation of this exam one example is given x is given 41 45 41 44 then 45 then 49 then 50 53 55 again 55 58 and 60 we are to calculate the standard deviation of this the very first we are using the direct method this form this is a case of individual series case the value of 10 items then 41 44 45 49 50 then 53 55 53 okay maybe we are having two times 55 not 53 this is also 55 58 60 the very first we have to calculate arithmetic mean is already we are discussed direct method this is the direct method of calculating standard deviation the very first we will having arithmetic mean so the very first we are adding this that is 41 plus 44 plus 45 plus 49 plus 50 plus 53 plus 55 plus 55 plus 58 plus 60 when we are having addition of 510 okay so the arithmetic mean is sigma dx sigma x upon n 
that is 510 divided by 10 that is 51. So, the very first we have calculated the value of arithmetic mean. So, the value of arithmetic mean is sigma x divided by n, the value of sigma x 510. So, 510 divided by uh, value is 10 serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, the total item 10. So, we divide this 510 divided by uh, 510 divided by 10 that is 51. Now, x d is equal to x minus x bar. It means 41 minus 51 that is minus 10. 44 minus 51 that is minus 7, 45 minus 51 that is minus 6, 49 minus 51 that is minus 2, 50 minus 51 that is minus 1, 53 minus 51 that is plus 2, 55 minus 51 that is plus 4, 55 minus 51 that is plus 4, 58 minus 51 that is plus 7. 60 minus 51 that is 9. This is D. So, we have taken the deviation. Deviation taken from the real arithmetic mean 41 minus 51 that is minus 10, 44 minus 51 that is minus 7, 10 plus 7 plus 6, 23, 25, 26 is the minus value, plus value 10 and 16, 26. So, we will get here 0. So, addition of the D, D will be 0, always it will be 0. So, I have show how to calculate the deviation. We should subtract arithmetic mean from each of the item, then we get the value of D. Then value of D square, the value of D square 10 multiply by 10, 49, 36, 2 multiply by 2, 4, 1 multiply by 4, 2 multiply 1. 4 multiply by 4, 16, 4 multiply by 4, 16, 7, 7, ja, 49 and 9, 9, ja, 9, 9, ja, 81. So, we have calculated the sigma d square here. Then we can addition of this 100 plus 49 plus 36 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 16 plus 49 plus 81. So, we having 356. So, calculating standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to sigma d square divided by n. Then 356 divided by 10. So, having 35.6. So, the value of standard deviation. We will get the square root of this 35.6. That is 5.97. So, the value of standard deviation is 5.97. Very easy to calculate standard deviation. The very first we will get the arithmetic mean, then deviation from the arithmetic mean, square of the deviation, addition of all the deviation, square of the deviation, then use the formula standard deviation is under root sigma d square divided by n. So, then the sum of the square of the division is 356 divided the number of items or we will say the arithmetic mean of the sum of the square of the division and having the under root of this. Now, coefficient of standard deviation that is standard deviation divided by x bar that is 5.97 divided by 51. So, divide with the 51 we will get 0 0.117 117. Now, coefficient of variation that is standard deviation divided by x bar multiply by 100, 5.97 divided by 51 multiply by 100 that is 11.7 percent. So, this is the direct method to calculate arithmetic mean for the case of the individual series. For the same question, we can calculate in the with the help of the assuming method also. The result will be same. Which method do you like? You may having use for that method. So, again, we are having in the assuming method for the same question. I think this will uh, helpful to calculate the standard deviation from the direct method. If you are feeling any kind of the difficulty in this method, 
द रिजल्ट विल बी सेम वी है एज्यूमिन मैथड एज्यूमिन मैथड वी विल एज्यूम ए एज्यूमिन मैथड इन एज्यूमिन मैथड वी कैन वी विल एज्यूम एनी वन ऑफ द आइटम एज्यूमिन सपोज दिस सीरीज सेम सीरीज ओवर देयर वी सपोज एज्यूम फिफ्टी एज्यूमिन ए इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी We have assume that our arithmetic mean is fifty. Any one of the item you can assume for getting the calculation easiest. I am I am I am taking fifty as assume mean. So the deviation from assume mean dx dx is equal to x minus assume mean. So forty one minus fifty. In this question, I. I should discuss forty one minus fifty. Then dx will be mi minus nine. Forty four minus fifty. Then minus six. Forty five minus fifty. This is minus five. Forty nine minus fifty. That is minus one. Fifty minus fifty. That is plus zero. Fifty three minus fifty. Then that is three. Fifty-five minus fifty. Then that will be five. Again, the fifty-five minus fifty. That will be five. Fifty-eight minus fifty. That will be eight. And sixty minus fifty. That is ten. So, dx value of dx nine plus twenty is min minus twenty. And Thirty one nine forty one minus fifty that is minus nine minus six minus five minus one zero three plus five plus three ten eleven twenty one minus twenty one plus cut plus thirty one it means plus ten the value is minus twenty one plus thirty one so result is ten. Then d square x nine nine ja eighty one six six ja thirty six five five ja twenty five one square of three that is nine square of five that is twenty five square of five that is twenty five eight eight ja sixty four and hundred. So the very first we will get the addition of this. That is eighty one plus thirty six. Plus twenty five plus one plus nine plus twenty five plus twenty five plus sixty four plus hundred three sixty six. Arithmetic mean x bar is equal assume mean plus sigma dx divided by n. So very first we are calculating the arithmetic mean. So our assume mean is fifty. Deviation taken from the assume. Uh, Assume mean that is ten. Addition of the division divided by ten. Number of items that is fifty plus one that is fifty one. So the value of x bar is fifty one. In previous also we are having calculate fifty one. Now the value of standard division sigma d square x upon n minus sigma d x upon n raised to power two. The value of sigma d square x three hundred sixty six divided by ten minus ten divided by ten raised to power two. So that is thirty six point six minus ten one. That is thirty five point six already. So the standard deviation. Is under root thirty five point six. We will calculate the under root thirty five point six. Under root that is five point nine seven. Five nine seven. Coefficient of standard deviation, standard deviation divided by x bar, that is five point nine seven divided by fifty one.
दैट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट वन वन सेवन कॉफिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन स्टैंडेविशन बटे डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स बार मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड दैट इज इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव सीन दैट वेदर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग स्टैंडर्ड एविशन फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट मेथड और फ्रॉम एज्यूम मेन मेथड द रिजल्ट विल बी सेम सो यू मे बी डिसाइड फ्रॉम विच मेथड यू आर टू डू द क्वेश्चन द रिजल्ट विल बी सेम अवार्ड आंसर विल बी अवार्ड मार्क्स विल बी सेम सो नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल विच क्वेश्चन विच मैथड यू लाइक यू कैन यूज नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल सो आई थिंक दिस वीडियो मे बी हैविंग द बेनिफिशियल फॉर understanding how to calculate standard deviation in a case of individual series later in next video we will discuss in a case of discrete series how to calculate standard deviation with the help of the direct method or age by age the adjoint method thank you